Hello my beginner buddies and not so beginner buddies out there too. Today we're gonna to clear up a question that somebody on my Facebook page mentioned to me and it's definitely come up a lot with students of mine and that is the confusion between when someone talks about a 145, a 145 progression and 135 when that has to do with what notes are making up the chord. Today we're gonna to clear that up and welcome to Music with Marky. <laughs> Okay, so when someone's throwing out numbers when they're talking to you about music and you're maybe jamming with people and they say things like one, four, five, or in a lesson, someone's talking about one, three, five, what they're talking about are the numbers assigned to the notes in the basic scales. So if I take a basic G major scale, I have the notes G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and then I'm back to G again and it starts repeating. Now I can also assign those notes numbers. That's the first, the second, the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and then the octave. So when anyone throws numbers out, you just have to know what key the song is in, whether it be G major, A major, A minor, E minor, whatever key, and then you can take that first note of the key as the one and count your way up and know which note they're talking about. It's just kind of a shorthand way of speaking. But again, what's the difference between this 145 thing and this 135 thing? Confused and frustrated and having no idea who they should be listening to right now. When throwing the numbers out there, you can be talking about one of two things. One is what notes we're talking about inside each chord that you play, what notes are making up the chord. And the other thing is what chord in a chord progression you're playing in a particular key. And usually the shorthand for that, when someone's talking about notes in a chord, they're going to say first, third, fifth, not one, three, five. And if they're talking about a progression, they're gonna more likely just use the number one, four, five, one, three, five, whatever they're talking about in a progression. So if we're talking about the first, third, and the fifth, we're just talking about the basic makeup of a major or minor chord. So a G major chord, is made up of, or any major chord, is made up of its first, third, and fifth. So here you have the first G, and you go up to the third B, and then the fifth D. If you play this G major bar chord, you will notice that you have G's, D, G again, this is a B, a D, and a G. So even though you're playing six notes, you're only playing three different notes across different octaves. If you're playing a G minor chord, the only thing that changes is this B becomes a B flat, the third. So all of your core chords are made up of the first, third, and fifth note in the scale that the chord is from. If I play in the key of A major, I go up a step, I just count one A, two, three is a C sharp here, four is a D, five is the E. So A, C sharp, and E, first, third, and fifth, make up this A major chord. And again, A minor, you just change the third to a flat third. Now I have a bunch of lessons and a whole series on the modes and scales, and we can go into this much more in depth, and if you want to, I'll link that up here. But for the purposes of this lesson, we're just talking about the basic triad, three notes that make up the chord. So that's the first, third, fifth, when someone's talking about that. Now when they go and start talking about, uh, we're playing a one, four, five progression, now they're talking about which chords they're playing while you're doing the song. So if I take, we'll go back to G major, and I take the first, fourth, and fifth, one, four, five progression. I have the G, two, three, four is the C, five is the D. I'm saying that I'm playing a progression that's G's, C's, four, D's, five, back to C maybe, whatever it is. It's a one, four, five progression. So that's all that confusion that you might be having is about. Knowing the difference between talking about a scale degree and a chord, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and knowing when we're talking about what chords to play in a progression when we're jamming together and just saying we're playing a one, four, five progression or whatever numbers that you name out based on the progression that it is, one, four, five comes up a lot because it's a very common progression when you're doing like a blues jam. And so for my friend on Facebook, I hope that clears it up for you. And this explains it to everybody out there who might have been confused by this as many of us were when we were starting out. If you have any further questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And until next time, guys, keep making great music. Hey friends, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It makes the whole world better.